So you notice that as I do this, I keep going back to some of these other instruments and bring them down a little bit. This is because when I put in the piano, I discovered that as I was trying to maintain the level right here, I was taking off most of its energy. So I needed to keep it at a certain level where it is coming out properly. So I had to reduce some of these instruments just to balance that. So let's move on to the guitar. So you see what's going on there i had to go back to the snare because i felt like it had too much of the noise this reverb noise so when i bring it here the mix now sounds a little bit cleaner let's move on to the lead So what I'll do is I'll do some stereo separation for the guitar. Just take it this side so that I widen it a bit. As you add these other instruments, you start figuring out that some of the levels that you had here were a little bit louder, so you need to start bringing them down. But the process is you start with these levels. As you come here, you'll be able to go back and try and maintain them. Okay, so this is okay for me and we are somewhere below negative 6 dB and that's what we are looking for. So now what you need to do is come here and just pick some uh, empty insets. Uh, click, control and shift and just highlight the two and right click and go to dock and dock to right. And just go to rename. Below here there is this arrow go there and pick verb send because we're going to use this now for our reverb send as a side chain so i'm just going to find verb send right here and go here rename and go to delay send which is this so i'm going to add reverb here you can add whatever reverb that you want so i like to do that to the reverb take the weight all the way up and this just down here and then we're going to add some delay which is um, fruity delay 2 i'll just set it to ping pong and we're going to adjust the time when we start sending something there so i'll just leave it there we can now deal with the 808 and the kick so just leave the kick and the 808 playing I'm going to add what is called peak controller to control the peak of the 808 when the kick hits. So we want the kick to come out, but at that point, the 808 should reduce in volume. Just on the kick, let's just click here and add fruity peak controller. Just leave it there. Go to the 808 and add another EQ. So get rid of all these other points so that we just remain with one point by simply going on top here left clicking and dragging down until it disappears so let's just do that okay once this is done we're just going to move the frequency of this to somewhere here because somewhere close to the middle for now the 808 is concentrated on this area so what we want to do is when the kick hits the 808 ducks like that it goes down back and forth just make sure that you set this 
to that and just take it back here and copy this value copy this value here go to the kick click on the pick controller and paste the value right on the base here and just paste it here so now linking this point to the pick controller so just left click and link it to controller and make sure we select internal controller which is this one and just accept so now if i play this you see that it's ducking upwards like it's boosting now so what we want is for it to go down so i'm going to go to the controller again and um just set the volume level to come down like this and if i play this now you see that it goes down i'll push the frequency to this point at least okay so at least at that point it's uh, a bit clean so i'll come back to my kick to the controller and control the level the amount i want the uh, 828 to be reduced in volume so right now it's completely reduced but if i start going like that reverbs and delays by clicking my hi-hat here i'm going to give it a little bit of some reverb yeah by clicking on the hi-hat i'm also going to click down here below the verb send and i'll be controlling how much of the reverb i give it with this here so let me just play this okay so that amount so another thing that i feel like i should give some reverb is the the crash so i'll come here and just do that for my guitar i want to i just want to change it a little bit so this is the point now where you can add whichever plugin that you know that can do something to your sample so i'm going to add a plugin called origin by cymatics so i'll leave the link to this plugin in the description it's completely free you can go there and get it so you can add some uh, chorus here and some saturation so let me just put some saturation And if I push this knob on this side, all right, I think that's it. And we can now move on to the mastering. So for the mastering, like I said in the beginning, there isn't much to add. Uh, the previous processes that we are doing, you can add some more of whatever it is that you want and just make sure that whatever you add maintain your level right here because you've balanced it you don't want to go above that so now let's do the mastering which is not even that complicated i'll just do something very simple so i'll just add a limiter which is fruity limiter right here i won't do much just a limiter so if you want to record some vocals i would advise you take the beat as it is here before you even add the limit so you just set the saturation to negative one and set the ceiling all the way up and just push the gain knob to get the loudness that you want guys so i'll leave it at that point thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up feel free to comment in the comment section below i'm going to leave this project up for download 
exactly where we've left it you can go and download it and just use it as some reference just to check what's really going on so i'll leave it you can download it if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video follow me on facebook and on instagram at jmg let's interact there